Welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today we are at the Cinnamon Lakeside Hotel. We're gonna spend a night here and check out this hotel because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So this hotel is actually overlooking the lake here in Colombo and it's right behind Golf Face and all the other big hotels around here. So it's a different perspective and to get away from the beach, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys a different hotel. Anyways, I'm about to check in and then we'll go up to our room and do a quick room tour followed by a hotel tour. I will see you there. Alright guys, so we are in room 637. Let's go do a quick room tour here. I already got my bag in here and it is nice and freezing cold in here just the way I like it. All right, so we are on the sixth floor and they upgraded us to a lakeside view, which is really nice of them. Unfortunately, they only had the two double beds available on the sixth floor, but I was okay with it as long as I got a nice view. So the room is pretty small, not terrible, but um, I chose it because of this view of the lake over here. You can also see a little bit of the pool and we'll go check out the hotel in just a sec. But yeah, a uh, pretty nice sized bed. You get a TV, small little area with some tea and coffee. And then let's go check out the bathroom here. Yep, pretty nice bathroom as well. A uh, nice little bathtub with a shower. Yeah, nothing crazy. It's nice to get away from the city a little bit and also get a nice lake view here and a good view of the Lotus Tower, which I am not a huge fan of. All right, so here's a better view with the window open. So yeah, it's a gorgeous view of the lake here and a little bit of Colombo, including the Lotus Tower and the pool. Yeah, so that's pretty much the room. Now, one thing I'm not used to here in Sri Lanka is that they ask for your passport whenever you check into hotels and stuff. And I don't have my passport on me because I'm just afraid to lose it. And that's a whole process if you do. So I just don't bring it with me. But you do need your passport to check in. I think it's for security reasons with uh, what happened a couple years ago. But yeah, uh, check-in took a little longer than expected, but we are here now and I'm looking forward to this uh, one night I have here at Cinnamon Lakeside and exploring this area a little more. Alrighty guys, took a quick nap and now let's go do a hotel tour here. All right, so here is the lobby area down here. Let's go this way. Looks like a couple shops and that's it. All right, so here is the lobby area of the Cinnamon Lake side. And then you got the, you got the dining room over there. We will be coming over there for dinner in a couple hours. Then let's go down here because so I think there are a couple shops and stuff and there's spas down here as well looks like there's a travel shop another little travel store with gifts and then a little cafe area down here as well Gym. You can buy a couple goggles. It's a pretty nice sized gym, and then over here, I believe, is the pool. So, yeah, it looks like you got the pool over here, a little bar area. And yeah, this pool is really cool because it's looking at the looking right at the lake over here and it's kind of got like an infinity effect to it super cool and then 
at night I believe this boat turns into like a restaurant sort of thing so you can eat on the water. We'll check that out later tonight maybe. But yeah, this is the outside area with a nice little lawn. And then my room's out here. And the camera's really fogging up because it's a little rainy out here. So yeah, that's the outside of the hotel. I kind of like this hotel more than um, some of the other hotels in the Gulf Face because it's kind of away from that area. And you kind of get a break from all the people and kind of like that hot spot area down there. And also, the Cinnamon Lakeside is a, well, it's supposed to be like a smaller hotel, a smaller hotel compared to the Cinnamon Grand, which is kind of like their flagship hotel. But uh, people have been telling me that this hotel is basically there or thereabout in terms of level. And I think it's it's just a nice break to get from the ocean because you're you're in Sri Lanka and they're like, you know, you got to see the beach, but there's a lot more that this country offers. And I mean, this lake is absolutely beautiful and there's a lot less people around here and a lot less of the hustle and bustle of Golf Face and where Cinnamon Grand is and other hotels are here in Colombo. Yes, yeah, so it's just a more relaxed and chill place to hang out. And while it is away from everything, it's still close enough that you could walk if you want. I believe it's like a half a mile away from the golf face green and like the restaurants and all that stuff. So it's not far, but you're just kind of secluded a little bit. Yep, so there's the view one more time. And then, and over here are a couple of restaurants. I believe they have a Thai and a Chinese restaurant. And then also they have a pretty cool kind of bar slash nightclub uh, nightclub thing here and then at night they have a pretty cool bar called Colum Bar. Let's go see if we can find that. Yep so there's Royal Thai right here and then the Chinese restaurant which is Long Feng and I heard it's pretty good. Okay, so this is Columbar and they open at 4 p.m. And I heard it's a pretty cool spot to like hang out and get a drink. All right, let's go back into the hotel. Like I was saying, it's a pretty small hotel, so there's not much of a tour to do. I think there's a bar also called the library, but I'm not sure where that is. Let me go see if I can find that. And over here you got a little cafe with some pastries and drinks. Let's go see what they have. Yeah, so just a couple of like Sri Lankan pastries and cakes and stuff in the little cafe where they serve coffee and also alcohol. All right, so let's go back down here and I believe the little library area is over there. I don't know if they'll let me in with shorts on, but let's go see. So the library lounge and nightclub and it looks really cool. So that was really cool. Very uh, old vibes in there, very colonial vibes in there. Didn't want to talk because it was really quiet and there's just a few people in there and I think you probably have to dress up to go in there. There's like a pool table and stuff like that and then there was also like a cigar room where you can smoke and they had very fancy alcohols. Yeah guys, so like I was saying, it's a pretty small hotel. I mean, that was the hotel tour. Um, it's a pretty good hotel if you want to kind of just lay back and kind of relax and chill because there's a lot less foot traffic through the hotel and yeah it's just a nice place to wind down and it's a lot more laid back so I think it's a better hotel for like families and stuff as well because you don't have to worry about you know being fancy and then being in the middle of the city because it's a lot more secluded out here and not that it's not close to the city because it is only half a mile but it's just away from golf face and uh, the bigger hotels well guys that's that 
I am gonna go back to the room and kind of chill and hang around until dinner time. The buffets here at the Cinnamon Brand have been really good. We went to the one at the Cinnamon Grand and it was the best buffet so far. The Hilton buffet is not even comparable to it. So I'm excited to see what's for dinner and I will see you guys then. All right guys, we are at dinner and let's check this out. Ooh, that looks good. Roast pork, roast lamb. Looks like a pasta station. Spring offers. Chicken and cheese cooked too. Indian food here. That opens up. Oh, it's automatic. Some fish, some butter chicken, a whole bit of Indian food. It's like some beef pasta. This is the first time I've ever seen this automatic thing happen. Salt and pepper vegetables. I'll skip that. Minced beef with hot basil. That sounds quite good. Belly with black pepper sauce and then some uh, dry chili chicken. This looks like more western stuff and maybe some Mediterranean. Baked fish with burnt emulsion. I'm not sure what that is. Pasta with creamy vegetable and egg and vegetable soup or noodles. Uh, fried rice. And we got a couple soups here. And a bread station. Ooh, and looks like we got some uh, seafood stuff over here. Looks like they got some cold cuts and appetizers over here, so let's get some of this. Let's try a chicken roulade. And then they also got a sushi section. It's nothing special. It looks like it's just the kind of like local fish, which is moda. So it looks like they got nigiri and some uh, Maki as well of that and then cold cuts and some salads over there so not huge but still a decent size for the size of the hotel all right so i started with some sushi but they don't have any of the traditional fish it's just the local fish which is moda but they've got nigiri and maki and some sashimi too so the quality of the and the way the sushi done looks pretty authentic. All right, so let's try the sashimi of Moda. You know what? That's actually not bad for sashimi. Um, due to like the crisis, obviously, salmon and tuna are pretty hard to come by. But that's a pretty good fish, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, nice and like meaty. It's, there's no weird texture, no weird fishy taste. It's a good fish. Let's try get this nigiri. That's not so good. That rice is way overdone. It's overcooked. It's all you can taste is the rice. You can't taste the fish at all. But the sashimi, I will go back for. Also got like this chicken luad thing. Let's try this. And that's just your basic um, buffet food, I think. So nothing special. And now some uh, shrimp maki. That one's good. There's a nice piece of shrimp in there. Pretty good. I think of all the buffet sushi I've had, it was definitely the best. Uh, there was tuna at the Hilton, I believe, but it was a terrible quality and basically inedible, so... I prefer the quality of this fish over that tuna. Alright guys, sushi's done. 
Let's go get more to eat. All right, so I got a mix of different stuff here. I don't know if it's the end of the night, but there's no one at any of the stations, the hopper station, the meat station. Uh, there's just no one there to take any orders or cut meat. And when I asked for these kebabs here, the guy was kind of rude about it, honestly. And he seemed kind of annoyed to, to make more because they were out. But anyway, let's get to tasting. I had to get this, whatever this green fish is, because anything that polarizing needs to be tasted. And that looks pretty dry. I don't know what this is, but it is terrible. Oh god. Mm, man. And then these are chicken gizzards. And I don't like liver and stuff like that. But if you've never had gizzard, you should definitely try it because it's, it's it's a very unique texture. It's very rubbery. It's like a meat gummy and it's really good. It's also got some uh, some grilled seafood and a butter lemon sauce. Let's try that. And honestly, there's not much flavor in it, in the sauce even. Disappointing. Let's try this chicken kebab that that guy did not want to make. That one's good. Could be um, marinated for longer, but it's pretty tender. All right, guys. So I got some meat, and honestly, I'm just not liking the service here at all. Uh, I was, I asked him for help after standing there for a minute, and then he went back there, and it's they got someone to come out, but he looked so annoyed to be be uh, called out of whatever he was doing. And he kind of just walked over there, cut it as soon as possible, and then just kind of left. Um, just not used to it. Usually here in Sri Lanka hotels, they take service very, uh, very seriously. And um, the service here is just uh, very disappointing, in my opinion. And um, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but, you know, rooms aren't cheap. And we're paying for this service. And to have to wait there for someone to come, you know, cut the meat is kind of weird because I mean there's supposed to be someone stationed there at basically all times whenever someone wants some so weird stuff here but uh, maybe it is because it's just later at night um, however there's still an hour and a half left in the buffet so not that late all right so here's the roast lamb leg which had like a which had like a parmesan crust and it looked pretty good yeah, and that's really good. It's um, perfectly cooked. It's beautifully done, medium rare. And it's uh, caught on to the salt really well. So, very good. And now the roast pork with some barbecue sauce on it. That one's a little dry. He cut it off the edge that was sitting out there. So it's kind of dry, but the barbecue sauce is good. And the skin on there is still pretty crispy, so good stuff overall. Yeah, so if you do come here, just I mean, stick to the meats, really, because that was mainly the only thing that I enjoyed at this um, dinner buffet. Alright guys, let's grab a little bit of dessert here. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, their desserts look half decent, but let's taste it, because buffet desserts always look good, but uh, never actually taste good. So this is a hot chocolate pudding. Very chocolatey, but the chocolate sauce looks a little runny. Let's see how it is. Um, it doesn't taste like very high quality chocolate. Kind of watered down, I think. Mm. But not bad. Now the creme brulee. Uh, creme brulee was not brulee at all. The creme is good. The brulee is not. It's non-existent. Now I'm pretty sure this is a chocolate mousse. Mm. That is a chocolate mousse but it has a lot of alcohol in it. Surprising, it's like an actual shot. I think I was just expecting more because I went to the Cinnamon Grand's buffet and it was incredible. It was like ordering from a restaurant, that's how good it was. And I was expecting the same here, but honestly, very disappointed. Well guys, I never wanted to leave a buffet sooner, but it was just an overall ex disappointing experience. Uh, the service was bad, the food was bad, and I guess I was just expecting a lot more from this hotel. Anyway, let's go outside here 
and kind of explore a little, maybe check out Columbar. All right, so I just gotta keep talking because there's music, but here's Columbar. So I really wish it wasn't raining so we can explore this area a little more because it looks like there's a trail that goes down here and you can like walk down there but I don't want to get stuck out there in the rain if it does rain too hard and it's pretty dead out here too because well no one wants to be out here. Anyways guys that is my first day here at uh, Cinnamon Lakeside. I think I'm gonna call it a night here and then I will catch you guys in the morning for breakfast. Good morning guys. Or should I say good afternoon because I way overslept and I missed breakfast but if it was anything like dinner then I was, probably wasn't missing that much. Anyway, I got a pretty big meal coming up tonight so it's probably for the best that I missed uh, breakfast. And also I thought I'd talk uh, really quick about how hotels here in Sri Lanka work. So when you book a hotel, bed and breakfast is basically the basic bottom line. So you get breakfast either way and it's usually a really good buffet. And then you could also get half board, which I believe is a choice between lunch or dinner. So you get to pick. And then there's also full board, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, I don't recommend getting full board just because eating three buffets a day gets pretty tiring and taxing. And uh, it just gives you one meal to at least explore uh, a different restaurant around here as well. But if you're just here to relax and uh, spend your time around the pool and lounging around, then uh, full board's probably your best option because you never have to leave the hotel. However, these hotels here usually have really good restaurants in them as well that uh, you can go and explore. So the Cinnamon Lakeside has uh, Long Feng and then the Thai restaurant, which I heard are really good. So you don't want to limit yourself to full board because um, obviously it does cost more. Picking something like half board or just bed and breakfast gives you more of an opportunity to explore some other restaurants. Anyway, we are about to check out and head out of the Cinnamon Lakeside. Uh, I don't think I would stay here again unless I really wanted a view of the lake because it's the hotel's a bit dated and then dinner last night was really disappointing and the service was also um, not the standard I'm used to here in Sri Lanka. I think the hotel could really use an update. I think they've updated the bathrooms, but I mean, uh, you know, look at this carpet color. It's like from the 1970s, so so yeah, I think a, a nice update would really help this hotel out. And it's not like it's any much cheaper than other hotels, it's still around that same price. So to me, it seems like you're getting a lot less value staying here. Well guys, it is about time to check out. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And then make sure you hit that bell icon so you know when I post next. And until then, have a great day.